Hey booktube, welcome back. I'm Winx and the ink I'm talking about today is my Friday Reads. So I finally feel like I'm back to a point of reading a proper amount, at least for what I like to read. Unfortunately, this shift occurred at the tail end of the month, so it doesn't help me a whole lot for my May TBR, but I did manage to finish two books this week that were on my list, so that makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, the first of these is Asteroid Made of Dragons by G. Derek Adams, and the second is a graphic novel called Fun Home by Alison Bechtel. Overall, I thought these were both good, but I definitely enjoyed reading Asteroid Made of Dragons more than Fun Home, but I will go into the details more of that in my wrap-up. As for what I'm reading now, I have two books that are currently in progress. The first of these is The Dragon's Blade by Michael Miller. This is a fantasy book which takes place in its own world, and this world is inhabited by humans, fairies, and dragons. But the dragons in this world are actually humanoid, and if I'm understanding correctly, I think they evolved from the typical dragon type that we know, but I'm really early on in the book so I could be like not fully understanding that yet. Um, however, in any case, they are humanoid and basically just larger than humans. And the fairies are also like basically human-sized and just have wings and stuff. So it already has some interesting takes on different fantastical creatures and I'm really intrigued by that. Those three main races are in an alliance and there's a war going on and there's demons and wizards and we're following the story of the like dragon prince. I'm only 15% the way through so far and already it's really exciting. I actually started this book at the beginning of the month and I just wasn't quite in the right headspace for it and then all the aforementioned projects and such happened and I really made no progress with it over like two solid weeks. I can tell I'm back in the right mood for it now, so I've picked it back up over the last couple days and I'm excited to continue on with it over the weekend. The second book I'm currently reading is Gelo by J.D. Horn, which is the fourth book in the Witching Savannah series. Um, so this series follows a girl named Mercy who's part of a family of witches living in modern day Savannah. There's a character in the series named Mother Gelo who's an older woman, and this book in particular is a prequel book that actually goes back to the 1950s, I believe, to look at Gelo's childhood and the story of her and her family's relationship with Mercy's family, which you can tell in the other books has not been a very good relationship. So I'm definitely curious to see more of where that comes from and learn more about this character. I'm pretty sure that together those books will last me throughout the weekend and into next week, but on the off chance that I finish them both and still have some time, the next book that I plan to start in on is Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb, which is the first book in the Live Ship Traders trilogy. I'm so excited to start this one. I have been wanting to read more Robin Hobb since I read the Farseer trilogy, and I've been purposely putting it off because I know that once I start this next trilogy, I will most likely get completely obsessed with it and not be able to read anything else. But yeah, I have officially waited long enough and this is going to be my next read. All right, so that wraps up what I plan to read over the weekend and into next week. Let me know in the comments what you guys are planning to read and if you've read any of these books slash what you think about them. Also, today is the last day to enter in my giveaway. I'll put a link down below to the video where I talked about the prizes and how to enter and such. Um, so I definitely encourage you to check that out. It's open to both international and US subscribers. So definitely check that out. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I hope everybody had a good week and is getting ready for a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.